Hey guys, and welcome back to another speed build. Today we are we're taking on the uh, amazing solid color building challenge. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. I think that's right. We're taking this on again. I've done this once before. I did the color pink. Now that one was a hoot. It literally looked like a giant bottle of Pepto-Bismol. So go check that out if you haven't. Leave the link for it in the description. But um, I wanted to do it again because it's like, I don't know, it's it's kind of fun. I don't know, it's something different. It, it never turns out good, but like, it's just kind of fun to do. So I wanted to do another color, obviously. I wasn't gonna do pink again, and it was a battle between purple and blue, but I felt like a lot of the purple stuff looked really similar to the pink stuff, so I went with blue. And blues, sometimes they kind of look greenish, and sometimes they kind of look purplish in this game, so you get a mix match of that also. So like if some things look kind of more on the green side to you, that's why. They're categorized as blue, so. There, there might be some like mix matched things in there and there's only so much you can do. So my bad if it's not matchy. It drives me crazy too, you're not the only one. But uh, yeah, I wanted to, I just wanted to, I don't know why, I wanted to do it again. I saw my thumbnail for the pink one, like on my channel today and I was like, I really wanna do that again. Like, I don't know why. I just, I wanted to build something and then I didn't know what to build. And then I saw that and I was like, I'm gonna do that. Cause that'll like, it'll get it out of my system. But then like, I also don't really have to try super hard to make it look beautiful. Even though I did, I, I always do. But like, I was like, you know, it's not gonna look perfect. Cause it's gonna be solid colors and it's gonna look atrocious like it does. But can I just say, and I tweeted about this. Again, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, at Vixella, go do it, you're missing out. Um, I have been a nervous wreck and a stressed mess and I've my anxiety has just been through the roof lately. And can I just say that my saving grace is watching Bob Ross on Twitch. Or I think he's on Netflix also, you can watch him there too. Watching him paint and listening to his voice, it's like a form of ASMR a little bit, which I've never really been too into. However, this is like, I just adore him, okay? Because some of the things that he says make me feel so happy. He's just got the most positive attitude. I just love him to death. I really wish he wasn't, you know, um, I, I wish he was still here with us. But uh, he, oh, and then he's just so talented. I'm sorry. It like blows me away. I've seen every episode and it still blows me away somehow. But if you don't know, Bob Ross is a, a painter and they've like started live streaming his old series. I think it's called The Joy of Painting. I. I if I have that wrong, I'm gonna be mad. Um, they started streaming it on Twitch, like almost 24 seven. It seems like it's 24 seven. I know it's not, but it, they stream it like a lot. They have like marathons of it. And I watch it always <laughs> when it's on. And so, uh, but I think, it, I think it is also on Netflix. So I mean, that's good. So if it's not on Twitch, you can watch it there. But um, he's a painter and he's just like, He's like the cutest little man. Like I just adore him with all my heart. He's so sweet. He says the cutest little things. I don't know, he's just, I don't know. He makes my anxiety like feel better. <laughs> and I tweeted about it and I've just been having a stressful week, stressful couple of months, honestly. Uh, but that lately has been like my favorite thing to like kind of like uh, make me feel better is just like watching Bob Ross, even if I'm not watching, just like listening to him while I'm doing other things. Like I know like, I I know like the whole point of his show is like to see him paint and like listen to him. But like for me, because I, I guess because I've seen every episode, even if you haven't, like just listening to him talk is just so soothing. Um, but on the topic of ASMR, like I said, I've never really been like a huge ASMR person. However, um, Besides Bob Ross, I really, and I mean really, like the sounds and those videos of people like cutting sand and then also the ones where they like crunch soap. Oh my God, I have an unhealthy addiction. Um, like, and I don't even think like, it's not even cute. Like it's, it's, it's unhealthy, uh, it's so good. Anyways, the entire reason I brought that up in the first place was because I literally have 
Bob Ross on the screen next to me. Like I'm literally watching it as I'm recording this. Like, is that bad? Like, should I be focused on the build? Maybe, <laughs> but like mm, out of character. But yeah, if you guys are wondering why I haven't really been uploading as frequently lately, it just all kind of comes down to A, I'm busy doing like house stuff still. I'm, I'm getting close to done, but I'm like not quite there yet. I would say I'm like maybe three fourths of the way done. <sighs> it, it's, it's like I can see the end, you know, but I'm just like not, I can't quite reach it yet. And like, ugh, that just stresses me out even more thinking about it, but that's a big reason why I haven't been uploading as much. And then also just because I've been kind of stressed out and um, really anxious lately. And it's really irritating, you know, but I don't like to record when I'm feeling super anxious or stressed out because like you can tell in my videos if I am, like if I'm not feeling 100% because when I record, and this is why I have trouble pre-recording. <laughs> it's hard for me to record more than one video at a time, like in a like in a sitting, in like one sitting, because I put so much energy into each one, like especially Let's Plays, because I feel like The Sims isn't really that exciting. Um, not to watch, it's kind of a slow game, you know? But um, I try to make it as exciting as humanly possible, and that's why I started like editing them and stuff, because like a lot of stuff goes down that's just kind of boring. Um, but I put a lot of energy into them, and you can tell like when I'm having a good time, right? Like you, I think you can, but when I'm not all there and I'm like not all ready to record, even if it's been a couple of days and I feel awful about not uploading for a couple of days, if I'm still not feeling up to it, like I can't, I can't bring myself to record because I know that it won't be good. And it, and I've done that before. And that's how I know is <laughs> because I've uploaded stuff when I'm not feeling great. And I'm like disappointed with it, you know, but Anyways, I've just been kind of, um, it's been a rough couple of weeks. So that's why I haven't been uploading, if you're wondering. Because I know a couple of you guys have been tweeting me asking, like, you know, are you going to upload today? <laughs> kind of just like, well, what are you doing, you know? And believe me, I've wanted to. I've absolutely wanted to. It's like the only thing I can think about um, on top of all the other things I'm thinking about. But I... Believe me, I'm doing my best. This is kind of why I wanted to do a build today because it doesn't take a whole lot of energy because I'm still not feeling 100% today, but I'm feeling a little bit better. So, you know, it this doesn't take as much energy because it's not like a full let's play or anything. I'm just like kind of doing a nice relaxing voiceover with you guys. It's like having a conversation with a friend or something, you know, but um, anyways, the, the whole reason I bring up the Bob Ross thing is because I... Like, I didn't know about him until Twitch started playing this, which is such a huge disappointment because I think his show was on PBS, I think. I think. I Sorry if I'm wrong. Um, but, like, that was the only channel I used to watch when I was a kid because my, uh, my grandparents didn't have, like, cable. They only had, like, just the few channels, like 30 channels or whatever it was that just, like, came on. And that was one of them, and I used to watch it all the time. And... I'm like disappointed that I never saw this show. Of course, I don't actually know like when it was running. You know what? I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I'm going to look it up with you guys. The Joy of Painting. When did this run? I got to know. From Oh my God. From 1983 to 1994. Oh, well, that's why I didn't see it because um I wasn't quite born yet. So close. It was May 17th, 1994. That was the final episode date. I was born like two months later. No. <laughs> okay. Well, that's why I never saw it because I was uh, not alive. Um, but if I was, I would have literally adored this show. Like I would have adored it because um, I like it now. And I'm pretty much everything I liked then I like now. And maybe except for like the kids shows. Cause like, actually, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'd still watch them. PBS was one of the weirdest TV channels ever, by the way. The, like, looking back, some of the shows they had were questionable. Like, very interesting shows. But some that I've never forgotten. Like, I gotta say, they really do make an impression. Um, but, yeah, that was just one of those. <laughs> one of those shows. I'm pretty... Wait... I'm pretty sure that, you know that meme, like, the more you know, and it's got, like, the star and the rainbow? I'm pretty sure that came from PBS. Did it not? I'm pretty sure it did. I want to say it did. <laughs> I feel like it was definitely on a show I watched on that channel. Um, yeah, because I don't think I had, like, not, I didn't, like, live with my grandparents, like, 24-7, but, like, 
Uh, my parents were divorced, so when I, like, they would pick me up from school, or I'd come home on the bus to their house, to my grandparents' house, and then I'd stay there for, like, a few hours until my mom got off work, and then she would come pick me up, and I'd, I'd go to her house, you know, that kind of thing. It was, like, that was my schedule, and so I was always over there, like, after school, and so I would just watch TV. And then of course, like in the summer, I would hang out there a lot. They had like a really big yard and stuff back in the day. And uh, it was like, uh, I talked about this in one of my recent videos, but like they had like um, this like swing set. It was my favorite thing ever. When I got a little bit older and I stopped watching kid shows on PBS, I would come home and like go swing. I've always kind of had um, anxiety problems. Like for as long as I can remember, I've had anxiety. And school was not very easy for me. Like, not just like knowledge wise, but like just emotionally, it wasn't that easy for me. And so I would come home and I would like put in my headphones, go outside and like swing on my swing set and like just chill out. It was like, oh, you don't know how much I looked forward to that moment. Every single day I was like, man, I can't wait to go home and like get on the swings. Like that's all I wanna do. Um, it was, I don't know, it was like the most relaxing thing. Like that, we've evolved from like swing set to Bob Ross. <laughs> we've evolved. But um, the, the reason, that, I think I, did I even say this? I think I was going to and I like forgot. The reason that I brought up the Bob Ross thing anyways was just because I know that a lot of you guys also deal with the same problems with anxiety and just feeling kind of, if you're stressed out or whatever, this is like just something that helps me. So I, I wish I would have known about them sooner. Honestly, I, I would have loved this my whole life. Uh, so just letting you guys know if you want to try it out, see if it works for you. I mean, other than that, he's just a fantastic artist. And it's if you're into art and painting or just anything like that, anything creative, he's wonderful to watch. It's, I, it makes me want to paint. Like I've never been interested in painting in my life. And like, now I am. Because he's got like, he just makes it look so freaking easy. Like he just has all these amazing tricks. I'm just so intrigued by that. Like I love art. I've never been good at art, but I love it. I'm, I love, I like respect it so much. And I want to try this now. He just, he makes it look so freaking easy. And I want to test it and see if I can do it. Like, oh, I want to get like all, cause like all my friends like him too. And so, like all my like YouTuber friends. And I want to like get together and have like a Bob Ross party where we like put on his show and like everyone has an easel and like uh, a canvas and paint and stuff. And we just try to like replicate his painting along with him on the show. I want to do that so bad, but like some people think it's really lame. And like, I don't, <laughs> like that sounds like an amazing evening to me. <laughs> like I, the idea of that sounds so fun. Like, I don't know, like I'm such a grandma and I say this all the time and people ask me how old I am and I'm like, I'm 64. Cause like inside I'm 64. I've been 64 for like my whole life. Like I won't leave my house unless you're taking me to go play mini golf. Like that's all I ever want to do. If, it, if you're not taking me to get food or go play mini golf, you can forget it. I'm not leaving. Like that's how I am. <laughs> and like, I, I only want people to like come over and play board games with me. Like, that's it. Like, I don't like going out. <laughs> I don't like dressing up, really. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not a normal, um, you know, not a normal person in their 20s. Everyone I know likes to go clubbing and stuff and I'm just like, count me out. Like, I don't like clubbing. I've been to a club, I've been to a couple and I just hated it. Oh my God, my, just anxiety through the roof. I just hated the environment, just not for me. And I know I'm not the only one who's like that. I know it's not for everybody, but I feel like in my group of friends, I'm like the only person who doesn't like it. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, like leave a comment, okay? If you're like old enough, you know, to go to clubs and stuff, if you've been, uh, do you like it? And like, why do you? and why don't you, or or why don't you, you know, if you don't like it. Because I'm curious, because like, I don't like it because I'm not huge on crowds and like strangers being that close to me. Like, I'm not into that. <laughs> and like, I don't know, like the only club that was like kind of fun and I didn't really even do anything. Um, I went to a gay club one time with uh, Tyler. You guys know Tyler. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably know him. He's like my IRL best friend. My only IRL friend, by the way. <laughs> He's the only person in the state that I like. But he, uh, it was for his, I think, I don't even know, his 21st 
birthday maybe it was a long time ago we went to austin austin texas and uh we, he wanted to go to the, this you know this gay club and i was like okay and so like i know i knew already that i was not gonna like it at all because like i just don't like clubs in general and i just didn't want to go to a club but it was like for his birthday and i was like okay you know be a good sport right so i i was and i went and it was the like out of all the ones i've been to that was the most entertaining just be <laughs> And you know why it was the most entertaining? Like, <laughs> it, it has nothing to do with the fact that it was a gay club at all, by the way. It was because of, <laughs> there was like a group of these like middle-aged women, like moms who went, I don't know what for. And they, I mean, they were literally having the time of their lives. I mean, they were just wasted. Like, <laughs> It was hilarious watching them just do what they did. Like it, just dancing with like everybody. It was hilarious. It was one of the funniest things ever. <laughs> and that was the only positive club experience I've ever had was watching those middle-aged women have the time of their lives. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little solid color challenge build. It came out pretty atrocious in my opinion, but I mean, what do you expect? Everything was blue. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.